hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be teaching you how to make this purely organic delicious zobo drink without any artificial sweeteners this drink is amazing for weight loss so if you want to know how to make this definitely keep on watching hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome don't forget to subscribe and if you're a subscriber already welcome it's good to have you back so today we're going to learn how to make this zobo drink purely organic like i said no sweetness so now i've gone ahead to put my zobo leaf inside clean water so now you can see how the zobo leaf is floating by the time this is done by the time it's done you would see everything is the leaves are just going to settle down and you'll just see the liquid up so now i'm going to go ahead to put the things we need first off i'll be putting my frozen the back of my pineapples i've already prepped my pineapple before now so they are frozen that's why they're frozen now but if you're using fresh pineapples the back of pineapples no problem at all so now i'm going ahead to put the the back of the pineapple inside the the zobo drink the water has not fully boiled properly so that is why i'm putting it so everything is actually supposed to boil together then next off i'm going to go ahead to put my blended ginger i just put the ginger and clean water in in um in the blender and blended it that's how i got this and i'm just going to put it inside the drink so this is really optional this is optional you don't have to use ginger if you don't want to but i just like the taste so yeah the ginger is really optional so i'm going to go ahead to stir it and next we're going to leave it to boil like i said earlier when you know your zobo is done is when the leaves go down and you just see um, the liquid above okay so i'm going to go ahead to cover the pot now and wait for it to be done um this should be maximum of 30 minutes not more than 30 minutes so this is it now the zobo is ready it's done and now i'm going to stir it and yeah so it's done the next thing we're going to do would be to sieve we have to remove the leaf separate the leaf from the liquid i'm just using a sieve this particular step was really hot like it was literally burning my hand but if you have a different way of sieving that is not going to actually because i was using a metal sieve so that was that was a bad idea but yeah we made it work and i'm just going to go ahead to sieve everything so bear in mind that that was a huge pot of zobo i'm just using half of it i'm using half of it i'm not using everything now i have my frozen blended pineapple i have prepped this before and just put it in the freezer so this particular step is really good like prepping your pineapple before now so it can be frozen because when you do this as soon as it defrosts and mixes with your zobo drink you don't have to add any additional water because of the water you already added to blend your pineapple and also the pineapple is ready to drink immediately after making it so opposed to when you do everything fresh and it's still hot then you have to put it inside the freezer so now i'm going ahead to just turn i'm going to continue turning and turning till it actually defrost but other than that you can actually just leave it to defrost but me i'm just going to go ahead to turn it because i need this to get done really really fast so now it is done i actually had to add a bigger um, plate of pineapple because that defrosted and it wasn't really sweet so to make this sweet you literally have to add a whole lot of pineapple this is about four pineapples but i used the whole four pineapples for the whole pot but for this particular one i use just like okay, maybe i use like two and a half and yes i'm just going to stir this zobo is it's it is so ready it is so ready for drinking it is not hot it is really cold and i'm also tempted to just have a glass or two so now i'm using my sieve just permit this sieve to be honest just permit this sieve. ignore it so i'm just going to sieve it so if you have if you have a cloth you know the cloth there's a cloth they use i, I can't really remember the name but the cloth they use if you have that cloth you can always use it it's faster to use the cloth but i didn't have the cloth so i'm just using this one so yes i'm just going to stare and stare and stare and wait for it to sieve down that's literally what i'm going to do i'm just going to keep on stirring this for it to sieve hi 
hi guys so i'm done sieving this this is how it looks when it's been properly sieved i'm still going to go ahead to turn it and turn it till i extract all the liquid So this is what this is how it looks when it's been fully 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 extracted i'm sure if i had the cloth and i put it in the cloth it's actually going to bring a more liquid but i don't so i'm just going to leave this like this so this left to me this shouldn't be thrown away you can add it to your smoothie you can add it to actually add it to your smoothie because it's actually still pineapple so you can actually add it like a thickener to your smoothie and yes yeah, so the zobo is done i'm just going to go ahead just look at how it looks guys just look at how it looks so you don't need to add any extra water because remember we added water to the pineapple when i was blending it so you don't have to add any extra water the pineapple if you prepped your pineapple before it would literally dilute by itself you don't have to add any extra water so i'm going to go ahead to bottle this up and our zobo is ready so i would advise you prep your pineapples before now because it saves you a lot of time and it makes the zobo to be ready to drink immediately it is done you actually don't have to wait for it to cool down then put it in the fridge when you want to drink and now yeah so this is our zobo so our zobo is ready you guys just look at this just look at this i'm going to spice things up with a little chopped fruit with some strawberries and pineapples just to make it look like like a zobo punch and i'm going to go ahead to put that in my glass and just put my zobo right in this is a different way to just to give you things to chew when you're drinking if you're going to try this let me know in the comment section if you've tried it let me know so just to say this when you're using pineapples for sweetness you actually would use a lot of pineapples it depends on your taste well for me i didn't really i don't really like it to be too sweet so i didn't really use a lot of pineapples okay it depends on how sweet you want it to be so the sweeter you want it to be the more pineapples you use so yeah that's the end of this video guys so here's how to make your organic zobo drink i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to let me know in the comment section let me know if you've been trying your zobo drink with like little fruits inside please like comment subscribe and share give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thanks for watching guys have an amazing day bye